I want to ask an uncomfortable question. If you were to go missing, how far do you think your loved ones are willing to go to find you before they eventually give up? I want to shine the spotlight on the story about a devoted Chinese father who spent over 15 years traveling thousands of miles to China, spent all of his life savings, broke multiple bones, and in the process ruined numerous motorcycles to find his missing son. In the year 1999, a father lost his two-year-old son to child trafficking, thus began his long journey to find his missing son. The father would place large banners with information about his missing son on his motorcycle, and he would also use the internet to seek online help. Along the way, he would encounter a young man who was a victim of child trafficking when he was only four years old. The difficulty of helping people who are victims of child trafficking is that many of them are abducted at a very young age and therefore have a hard time remembering their original families and homes. Going off only by memories of a metal bridge in a nearby bamboo forest, the father decides to help the young man find his long lost home and at the same time search for his missing son who is by now 17 years old. Throughout the journey, the father and the young man will encounter both compassion and the hardship of finding what they both seek in life. He keeps a list in his diary of all the people that have helped him throughout this journey. The movie is inspired by the real-life story of a father named Guo Gantang, who is portrayed by the legendary Hong Kong actor Andy Lau. I really enjoyed the film and the performance by Andy Lau's portrayal of the father was superb. The emotions he brought out really makes you sympathize even more with his character. He is caring and faithful to the real-life story of Guo. It's reported that the actor worked for free to advocate against human trafficking in China. The director's use of China's beautiful landscapes and cities really added an aesthetic to the film. The film also didn't rely heavily on the dialogue to develop character moments. Also, it was very heartwarming to see the sort of father and son relationship between the two main cast during their long journey across China. Andy Lau's character becomes the sort of a father figure to the young man, and the chemistry between the two was amazing during their long journey. Some of my favorite scenes in the film would show the pair having a father and son bond without using dialogue. However, one of my only complaints about this movie is that the young man can be a total asshole to the father during some scenes. Like the scene where the young man threw the father's broken motorcycle into the ocean. He was extremely whiny and at some points completely unbearable. Overall, I really enjoyed the movie and for the most part the father and son duo made the audience feel more attached to the characters. The film will conclude with the father helping the young man reunite with his biological parents. You see the father happy to help a family reunite with their long lost child. Near the end of the film, the father would visit a Buddhist temple and ask the monk when will fate reunite him with his son. The monk tells the father that hope is when you will eventually find your son. The film then ends with the father continuing his ongoing journey of traveling all across China looking for his long lost child. The real life story of Guo Gantang was that he spent over 24 years looking for his son, and in the process reunited at least 7 families with their long lost children. The ending to this amazing story is that after the long grueling journey, Guo was finally able to reunite with his son in 2021. This is the moment his search came to an end. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Also, check out my other Chinese film recommendation videos if you want to see more.